not be allowed back into the park for some indefinite amount of time. Uh -huh. Paul was able to. Paul was awesome. Yeah, you were there. Oh, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Paul, Paul was, was able awesome. to successfully um, defend that motion, and the judge didn't. And the judge denied it, which means everything is status quo. Oh, However, God. we don't have any court until Monday. That's the next court. Paul is feverishly working on some federal litigation to get an emergency injunction to stop TPD from issuing tickets. Okay. Um, and so there's no need to panic. However, um, use your best judgment. Might be a good idea not to be around the park at 1030 at night. Maybe there can be some kind of light vigil that's happening that's off site that doesn't uh, let everybody come back to the park till, you know, an hour or two later. Uh, you know, whatever, you know, do your civil disobedience if that's where your head is at. The legal team isn't advising anybody to break any laws. We never have been. We're not encouraging it. We're not instigating anything. Um, go ahead. Uh, yeah, just uh, as far as the Pancho Villa Park, the police have advised us that as long as we're on the sidewalk, like sitting at those uh, picnic tables, we're not liable for the uh, ticketing. So as long as we're there and not in the park, you can be f or you'll be fine if you want to avoid uh, uh, tickets that way. Right. So we want to change our, our, our our process right now to avoid getting tickets instead of trying to get them. It's up to everybody. Yeah. I'm just giving information. Everybody it makes up their own mind, be responsible for their own behavior. We have a direct response. Response to Mike. Um, when I was getting excited last night, I was the last person getting excited. The police noticed that John McLean walked up, uh, recognized him as one of the organizers, and were discussing how to cite him from be on the sidewalk. They quoted uh, uh, city ordinance 455 or something along those lines, standing on a sidewalk, which apparently is illegal. <laughs> uh, they were they were trying to figure out a way to, because he hadn't got a citation, they were trying to figure out a way to cite him because they, they recognized him as, as as a dude. Uh, fortunately, I finished getting my citation, John McLean and I left and they didn't do anything about it. Okay, I have some yeah, more information on that. Yeah. So the Direct deal response. with the sidewalks is that it is illegal to sit put a bench on, put a blanket on, stand, and everything except subsection B of the Tucson City Code allows one to do so if they're exercising their freedom of speech, their First Amendment rights. So that's the deal with that. So hold a sign. But I need to go back to the original thing out <laughs> or start talking or something. We I mean, have a point of clarification you know what, real actually, quick. Okay, go ahead. Uh, your, your advice to not be in the park, is that it's just sound? It's not advice. Huh? It's not advice. I'm just giving out information. Oh, we're not advising anybody. To well, exactly. It is it, um, let me see. Is that uh, is that just the educated opinion of someone who <laughs> who studies the law, or is there some uh, some development that would precipitate us not being here? Well, that's the development I just spoke of. Oh, the, the court. So let me go okay. back to that. So okay. I, I need to finish. So if so, kind of the gist of the bottom line of what happened in court was today. Um, the next, you know, we were told, heads up, this is going to happen, you know, every time we go back in the court, somebody's going to be bringing one of these motions. We might not get so lucky as we did with this particular judge today. The judge could order that motion, which means that anybody who has received a citation for being in this park after 1030 could um, and be um, charged with what we believe is um, interfering with judicial process. Now, we're still working on trying to find out what those consequences are, but um, the quick and dirty thing that we've come up and subject to change is that if you are cited for um, interfering with judicial process, you're going to jail for 24 hours, minimum mandatory, which means you are going to jail for 24 hours, and minimum mandatory, $250. No way to plea that out. No way to get to, you know, your, do your lawyer necessarily to you know, get that dropped or, or whatever. And that's just, you know, um, it's like it happens and then you pick up the damage later type of thing. Maybe get the $250 dismissed or reduced or whatever. And and let me make it really clear. This is not, this is just from some, you know, preliminary legal research. This, this particular section that I'm talking about right now might actually not be the code that's applicable to this particular situation. <coughs> we will make sure you guys, you know, are informed, but 
it's not going to be just another ticket. Interfering with judicial process is a little bit more, um, I don't want to say severe, but it's a little bit more, you know, it's a little bit worse than just getting the ticket for, that, that we have, you know, that you guys have been, yes? Um, is there a specific permit we can get? <clears throat> well, the whole permit question is one for the General Assembly to decide at this point. Um, um, it's my impression that we've decided not to get a permit because it's kind of counter to the spirit of the movement, the spirit of occupation and so forth, so okay. that's all I know. Can I talk to you after um, you're done? Sure. Is that still a misdemeanor, uh, yeah. uh, the interfering with judicial process? Yeah, that's what we're not clear yet. We, we have to, we're trying to figure that out. Yeah, the only thing felony, we're able to find is that, and that particular, um, you know, the, the 24 hours and the 250, that had to do with civil infractions, so I'm not sure if at the point of that order, if it would be converted from, you know, if it would be converted to, from criminal to civil for the purposes of that particular act, you know, it's just preliminary. I don't want to, I don't want anybody to get panicked. I know we're already having, you know, a lot of up and down more morale issues and stuff, man. We have got to stay strong. We knew this wasn't going to be indefinite. We knew they weren't going to be cool forever and ever, us camping and just like creating this entire city, you know, here at beautiful Armory Park. So this is a bump in the road. You know, we're gonna get through it. We got some, we got 15 attorneys right now, you know, and we're just trying to to get you guys through the process and to try to create something positive from this. Okay, um, and to clarify, that motion was not passed for today, so right. that won't be an issue until Monday? Right. When, when we have another court date. We expect them to file, refile the motion again, possibly before another judge, and we don't know what's gonna, you know, what's gonna come of that. Okay. So for now, I'm just, you know, I'm just giving you guys the information. Do what you will at 10:30 at night. You know, I mean, I, I can't give any strategy. Right. Is, 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 it, is it fair to say they'll just keep beating on that door until there's no more doors to knock on? Well, that you motion? know. Yeah. Okay. Any point of information? This morning in court, when the prosecutor wanted conditions of release being the condition that you cannot return to this park. Uh, Paul argued it that, wait a minute, it's not like they're, it's not like they're shoplifting from a store, they're exercising their right to protest, they're taking, there's no complaints about littering the park. He said it's not like they're charged with trespassing. I really expect them to start charging us with trespassing. Why he gave them that, I don't know, but he did. Now, I got two yellow slips today. I'm the only one that got two in two days. The first one is the standard coming up. The second one says criminal. You are a, the violation of city code and it is criminal. Why they only gave it to me, I don't know, but it made me want to double my effort. But here's my, no, no media, no media. Here's my gripe. We don't control what goes out in email or what comes in an email. Okay. S someone else has that and they're never here. This yeah. is our group. Right I'm now not, we're doing working group check-ins. Well, we can put this on, tell the you what. on the table to be discussed. If they charge me with trespass tonight, I'm gone because I'm kicking my ass here and have no control over what goes out and what co and filtering what comes in. The people aren't here that they, the city council thinks, are the 